Hi, in this video, we will show you step by step how to complete a NAX device transfer process. The device transfer essentially is the ownership transfer. This process itself has two parts. The first part is done by the device sender, which in many cases is your Chinese machine supplier. The second part is done by the device receiver, which is yourself. Only when both parts are done, the process will be completed, and from there, NAX will start to process the case. Now let's start from the second part where you as device receiver should complete. First, open your mailbox to receive this auto email, click on the customer LP link. Sometimes this email could be found in the junk mailbox, if you can't find it anywhere, know that this email is sent to both you and your machine supplier. You can ask him to forward his email to you or simply let him copy that customer LP link for you to continue. Please note that the customer LP link is unique for each order and account. You will have to repeat the process for every new order of machines you are getting from a supplier. After clicking on the link, you are directed to this landing page. If you hold an existing NAX account, all you need to do is log in with your email address and DCS ID. If you are new to NAX, please click on the Register Here button. Note that you should choose the correct option, otherwise the system might detect an error and put your device transfer on hold where manual correction will be required and as a result, extra waiting time for you. Let's demonstrate first when you do have an existing NAX account. So now, key in your email address and DCS ID, click Continue. If you don't know where to look for your DCS operator ID number, you can log in your NAX Vend Management System, yellow highlighted is the web link. After login, go to the Administration tab, click on Operator, then in the Company section, this operator ID is your DCS operator ID number. If the Administration tab isn't available on your account, please contact your local NAX representative for assistance. Back to the process itself. After click on the Continue button, you will be redirected to this verification page. You should go to your email and retrieve your verification code. In this case, the verification code is 47506. Go back to the page and input verification code, click on Login button. If you do not receive a verification code email, check your junk mailbox or click on the Resend the Code button. After successfully login, this page appears. You can see, your company information and your information sections are both auto-filled according to your existing account with NAX. In the Device Information section, info appeared are what machine supplier has filled on your behalf. You should check all info on this page and correct anything if needed. Regardless of the font's color being gray or not, know that they are all editable. After reviewing the whole page and make sure that all info is correct, click on the Send button. When you see the Thank You page, it means that your submission is done. So far, the whole device transfer process is completed. You can now close the page. If after submission, you realize that you would like to change some info, instead of clicking again on the Customer LP link to submit again all data, you should contact NAX to do so. You can either ask your machine supplier to contact NAX on your behalf or contact directly by yourself by writing to nonboarding at naax.com. So, since in this case, you don't need to go through onboarding again, all you need to do is to have machine being created under your existing account. Pay attention to your email about machine creation alert, or you can log in your NAX Vend management system to check if the new machines appear. For any question, you can either ask your machine supplier to contact NAX on your behalf by providing the device serial numbers or account name or any other keyword or contact directly by yourself. Now, let's demonstrate the steps when you are new to NAX. As a new user, please click on the Register Here button to proceed. Then this page appears. As you can see, your company information and your information sections are were pre-filled by your machine supplier, and they may not be accurate. Know that regardless of font's color being gray or not, all info is editable 
and you should correct every field if there is an error or not accurate. In this this example, we have filled all info to the best of our knowledge. Review the page again and click the send button. When you see the thank you page, it means that your submission is done. You can now close the page. If after submission, you realize that you would like to change some info, instead of clicking again on the customer LP link to submit again all data, you should contact NAX to do so. You can either ask your machine supplier to contact NAX on your behalf or contact directly by yourself. Next, please pay attention in your email to receiving NAX's onboarding invite email. For any question, you can either ask your machine supplier to contact NAX on your behalf by providing the device serial numbers or account name or any other keyword or contact directly by yourself at nonboarding at NAX.com. Hopefully, by now you have a better understanding of how the device transfer is done. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us.